And it's now my great honor to introduce Kevin Cadle. Representative of the senior class who embodies the values, the characteristics that make our gaucho so special. And as my last act as principal, I would like to present Kevin with the final Golden Gaucho Award for the year. The award is given to Kevin for living up to the highest values of this community. I'm going to turn the podium over to Kevin Cadle. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction, Mr. Backman. Good morning. My name is Kevin Cadle, and it is my pleasure to welcome you, fellow students, faculty, friends, and family, to the Casa Grande graduation ceremony for the class of 2019. Before we get started, I think it is only fair that we honor a young boy who is unfortunately unable to walk across the stage with his fellow classmates today, and that is CJ Banizak. For those of you who do not know, CJ was diagnosed with leukemia at the age of 11 and spent the next two and a half years of his life fighting. He withstood three bone marrow transplants and was ultimately deemed cancer free. However, the intense treatment left his body too weak to fight off an infection, and he passed away in his sleep after winning in his fight against cancer. CJ was the kid everyone wanted to be around, and the kid every parent wanted their child to be friends with. CJ was a person who was genuinely happy. He always walked around with a smile on his face and radiated positivity. He always thought about others before himself and could make anyone laugh. There was not a mean or judgmental bone in his body. As I prepare to walk across the stage, I want more than anything for CJ to be walking with the rest of us. He's still very much a leading image of the Metal Elementary class of 2013, Kenilworth class of 2015, and Casa Grande High School class of 2019. I now ask that everyone join our 2019 class in a moment of silence for the late CJ Banizak. Thank you all. As I stand before you today, I am honored to speak for and represent the class of 2019. Yeah! Just four short years ago, we were timid freshmen stepping onto this, at first, large and daunting campus, not knowing what was coming our way. We did not know the fear of being chased down the parking lot aisle by Pam and her golf cart. <laughs> we did not know the intelligent and impersonable science teacher, Todd Creighton, whose biceps left any, hardly any breathing room in his shirt sleeves. We came in expecting to leave our PE classes prepared to complete in bodybuilding competitions after the way it was described to us in middle school. The bottom line, we did not know what to expect when we walked onto campus for the first time. How would we find our classes? Where do we eat lunch? Wait, I don't have a locker? How am I going to fit in and survive these next four years? The last question is the one that plagued our minds the most. These were the questions that flooded each of our minds, but slowly CASA provided the answers. Slowly, we made this school our home, and slowly, we became more prepared for the future. This school allowed students to find their passion, whether it be in one of our many accomplished sports teams, as a member of a club that fo focused on connecting people in their communities, through our drama and theater groups that put together events, or simply in the, ca in the classroom. This school welcomed all of us with open arms and allowed us to grow under its supervision. Seated before you today is a group of young adults who have spent the last four years trying to figure their lives out. We entered high school with the unsolved puzzle of the future and expected to leave with a completely polished idea of where we were headed. Looking back now, I see how ambitious of a goal that was. Even though all of our puzzles may not be complete, this school and community has provided the environment for each of us to begin laying the foundational pieces. Being in the community of Casa Grande has taught us lessons that we can be taken and expanded beyond the physical confines of the classroom, allowing us to take our education and life aspirations to the next level and thrive in any environment we find ourselves in.
Speaking for every student seated behind me today, I would like to collectively give some love and appreciation where it is due. Teachers and Casa Grande staff, thank you for dedicating the past four years of your life to helping us learn not only in the classroom, but in preparation for the future. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and creating an open and inviting learning environment. To all the families, thank you for being our number one supporters and never letting us fall short of our dreams. You put us in a position to get an education that was carry us to the next chapter of our lives, so much of our success can be attributed to you. In the class of 2019, thank you all for coming together to form such tight bonds that are sure to last a lifetime. The memories we have created together will not be forgotten, and our mark on this school and community will be felt for years to come. Before I turn the mic back over, I want to leave you with a quote. The great Michael Scott from The Office once said, the people that you work with when you get down to it are your very, your very best friends. Looking back on these past four years, there was no other group of people, students and faculty alike, that I would have chosen to come and work with each and every day. Congratulations, class of 2019, for reaching this for reaching this milestone, but in the grand scheme of things, we are just getting started. Thank you to everyone in attendance today, and enjoy the rest of the ceremony.